I would say that the majority of symptomatic Tarloff cysts start being coming symptomatic way, way before then. So probably yeah. what happens is some bad luck event triggers an inflammatory response. Mm -hmm. And then that inflammatory response turns on. And for most people, it turns back off again. Because mm -hmm. as things get abnormal in the body, the body tries to heal it. And right. every healing response goes through at least inflammation. So right. most cases, it turns on and turns off. But every once in a while, it turns on, it does not turn off. It just stays chronically on. And by the way, that happens all the time. Anybody mm -hmm. that's had tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, plantar fasciitis, shin yeah. splints, yeah. rotator cuff tendonitis, those are all chronic inflammatory conditions that um, on imaging studies, they barely have any, like it barely looks like anything, yeah. but it is really, really painful. Yes. And yeah. it lasts forever. forever. So that's probably what happens. Um, a little bit more complicated than that because when mm -hmm. I do Tarlaf cyst surgery, the amount of inflammation is like visibly obvious. Everything's yeah. stuck down. And then yeah. I can even see like a nerve sheath right next to a Tarlaf cyst and it's red right there. Oh, really? <laughs> because and of increased vascularity.